Well, the weather lately has been a picture perfect to get out on the lake and do some fishing. In this week's edition of Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy talk about the always popular and very versatile jig. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the number one lure used in America. Year in and year out, spring, winter, summer, fall, doesn't matter what the season is, that's the jig. Just a standard jig. If there is such a thing as a standard jig, they come in all sizes and shapes and colors. My man is going to share a few of those jigs with you to start with. So as Ray said, every shape, color there is, the, the imagination can go wild. There's multiple different styles. There's different length hooks. Um, you can get them super small for panfish, all the way up to, to bigger sizes that Ray's going to talk about uh, for lake trout. The, the cool part of these is they're so diverse. You can literally fish every species of fish with a jig, depending on the size and depending on the weight. And the, the cool part too is they're not just for live bait. So yes, the, you can hook a minnow on this multiple different ways. You can go with a leech, you can go with, with a night crawler. But the big thing right now is plastics. I, I use these a lot on, on plastics and there's so many different plastics that you can use on them. You can use swim baits that, that mimic a minnow, you can use worms, you can use Ned rigs. It, it's just, they're, they're inexpensive, but they're so diverse. It's something that's a must go to to have in your boat. And a lot of times, uh, what I've experienced is a lot of people using jigs are going with jigs too heavy. Uh, if they're in six or seven or eight feet of water, I'll see guys with quarter ounce jigs. Uh, and it's hard to feel a light bite with a big jig. And it's easier to get tangled into rocks and weeds with big jigs. So the recommendation I would have is to go with the lightest possible jig you can find and still get to the bottom. Because what you're gonna be doing is working that jig up and down off the bottom most times. Sometimes you can get fish just dragging it slowly across the bottom too. Heavier jigs like this is used for lake trout. Uh, you can see that's a pretty good sized chunk of lead there. It'll go down into 70, 80, 90 feet of water. There are jigs like this called weed weasels, weed weasels, and there's a little protector on there to make it so it's hard for the jig to get into the weeds, and uh, that, make, that comes through the weeds very, very well. And you can go all the way to a tiniest little thing. You can actually, I have a friend who actually fishes red-tailed chubs, and he uses little tiny jigs, and his name is Dave Gentz, if you've ever heard of him, the man who invented the outdoor shelter. Anyway, so you can go any size, any color you want, but experiment with them. They're very effective. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Yerick, the Bass and Biologist. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.